Let's try the limited edition Oreo Brickios. So I got these the other day and I'm so excited to try them. So it's their Oreo, but it's with brownie original and cookie dough triple cream. Y'all, I am so excited for this. Here it is. Yum. You can see the three layers. So we've got a little bit of our brownie. We've got our regular cream and then we have got our cookie dough cream. I know this is gonna be amazing. Oreos are perfection, and these are even better, y'all. Delicious, 10 out of 10. I just woke up from a nap and I remembered that I have all of these snacks to try. So that's what we're gonna do today. I went down the street to the store called the British Pantry and I got a whole ton of snacks. So let's start with my favorite. I already finished most of it, but these are the Walker's Belgian Chocolate Chunk Biscuits. In love, 10 out of 10. They're crumbly and they have a really good amount of chocolate chips in it. Next, we're gonna try the Walker's Baked What's It. Oh, these have multiple packets in them. They smell like Cheetos. These are exactly like Cheetos and I love Cheetos, so 10 out of 10. Next, we're gonna try Walker's Monster Munch Pickled Onion. Okay, I love this idea of having multiple chip packets inside one big chip packet so they don't go stale. When I was a kid in India and Pokemon was like a huge thing, Cheetos would have the little Tazos inside the packet and one of the flavors was exactly like this. This instantly took me back. It tastes exactly like the Cheetos thing I'm talking about. It's not a sour cream and onion kind of flavor. It's not even a pickle kind of flavor. It's a very unique taste and I like it. 10 out of 10. Next I'm gonna try the Maynard's Wine Gum. I don't like the way gummy things feel in my teeth, so I don't know if I like this or not, but let's see. The flavor is really good, but they're a little too gummy. Let's try another flavor. The flavors are really good. Not too strong, not too sweet. I could snack on these all day. But my teeth though. I'm gonna give these a 9 out of 10 only because of the gumminess. Let me know in the comments if you want a part full day trying food. For breakfast, I tried this plant-based Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwich. I didn't even know they had plant-based stuff and it was really good. My husband liked it a lot too. For lunch, I had these black bean sun chips and then I wanted to try this hoagie dressing. The dressing is from Dietz and Watson and I love their lunch meat so I wanted to try this and it was okay. The black bean sun chips were probably my favorite thing I tried all day. Um, I don't think they'll be for everyone though. <laughs> then for dinner, I had the stone fire pizza from Newman's Own and I hated it. There wasn't very much cheese and not very much sauce and the sauce that was on it, I didn't love. Trying new snacks so you don't have to. American cookie ice cream. Stein, Stein, Stein. With marzipan. American chip cookies. I love cookies, so let's try. I prefer more chewy. My Latino dad tries a new snack. Fish sauce. Pepper flakes from round table pizza because we didn't have fancy flakes. Bakit is try a new snack? Yes. <laughs> Let's go then. <laughs> este es el snack que vamos a probar hoy. What is that? <laughs> es un Asian snack. Okay. Gotta get all the juice. <laughs> ¿Qué tal está? For yeah. real? Mm -hmm. But it has fish sauce. Is it good? It's good, but. <laughs> Jeff Fresh approved? Let's try whistle candy. The candy which makes sweet music. All right, let's open these babies up. I better be able to make a whole song with these. Okay, I finally got this open. Okay, these look like little lifesavers. Different colors on each side. All right, let's make some music. Would y'all buy this song? Okay, let's see what happens when I try two of them. Okay, I made some beautiful music. But the Ladies, adobadas. I think that's how you say it. Let's try these. Adobadas. I don't speak Spanish, but I feel like I said that. I said that all right. Give me a pass, y'all. This is one of the official USA snacks. 
for the FIFA World Cup. <laughs> these are special. Honestly, this bag is pretty fire too. Let's try these. Smells like flavor. All right, here we go. Interesting flavor. Not too sure how I feel about these. These have like a hint of spice. I taste a little bit of lime. I feel like this, this seasoning should be on some chicken or something. By the time I figure out if I like these or not, this bag is going to be empty. I keep eating them. So, I guess I like Okay, as you say, cream soda. Not sugar free because people went in on me in the comments for this. Okay, it doesn't smell like deep heat. That's a good start. That tastes like when you put fizzy drinks on ice cream. That's what that tastes like. That is way better than whatever root beer I tried. It's creamy. It's got a little bit of fizz, not too much. That's a lot cold as well. That's a decent drink. I'm going to give that like a 6 out of 10. Um... Not gonna drink the full can because it's got like 200 calories in it, but a lot better. It's got it's not sugar free and still the same brand. You were right, I was wrong. What's next? What's good, everybody? Today I'll be trying these new snacks from Ballerina. Let's get into it. First up, we have their filled cookies, chocolate peanut butter. Not a fan of the mix, but let's check it out. Okay, fully fully covered. Hey yo! Yes, sir. Next up, we have their Phil Cookies Caramel and Crunch. Once again, fully covered in chocolate. Ooh. Ooh. It reminds me of a Snickers. I'm rocking with you. Next up, we have their Cocoa Peanut Crunch. Damn, that's a tongue twister. That piece look ashy as hell, don't it? Oh. Oh. I got bras in Atlanta. Ooh, just in the clean. Mm. Except I have crunchy corn and choco joy. Okay. It has like the little Smarties, or I would say like M&Ms in it. Yo. They just get better and better. Last, we have Popping Rock and Road. Whoever's naming these snacks, you need a raise, buddy. It's fire. Chocolate looking dusty as fuck, though. Okay, come through, Marshmallow. I'm rocking with you. I'm gonna go call my dentist real quick. You let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. Winston trying knee snacks part two. Pop tarts. Strawberries. Marshmallows. Pickles. Trying your ideas for how to eat Parmesan rinds, part two. The most popular suggestion is to add them to soups and sauces, which I've done before, and yeah, it adds so much flavor. But I've never tried eating the soft cooked rinds afterwards, so I'm trying that now, and yeah. Okay, here we go. This is good. It's like a cross between Parmesan and butter, and how could that be bad? Next time, I'd cook it in the sauce even longer than 30 minutes, but otherwise, this is delightful. Some of you also suggested I fry them after cooking them in a sauce, and oof, they kind of got stuck to the pan. But okay, a little chewy, a little crispy, 
Not bad. I could eat these. I got a bunch of suggestions to grate them, spoon them onto a baking sheet, and bake them into little crisps. I tried bigger shreds and smaller shreds. Eh, fine. Some are really dry, almost sandy. They taste like sadness. Not as good as using actual regular Parmesan to make these. Now I'm infusing olive oil with a Parmesan rind and trying it two days later, and yeah, that's the stuff. Oh my god, this is so good. You all did not lead me astray with this one. This one is a keeper. I might just eat it with a spoon. And okay, we're trying little Parmesan rind puffs again. This time I'm following your advice. Cut them even thinner, chop them into smaller pieces, microwave them on parchment paper so they don't stick to the plate, and yes, it worked. So good. Like fluffy, crispy little puffs of cheesy goodness. We did it, folks. I think we should be really proud of ourselves today. We accomplished a lot here, and I didn't even set anything on fire this time. Go team. I've got more suggestions to test out, so follow to see what's next. As you wish, trying foods from around the world, the box number two, this time it's from Slovakia. Slovakia has the most castles per capita in the world. There you go, interesting fact. Anyway, you get five snacks. We're gonna really quickly go through them all. I'm not trying this one because this is peanut butter wafer and I absolutely hate peanut butter. So that's a zero out of 10, sorry. Okay, you got beer crunch, which looks like pips out of popcorn. I'm gonna pause it because I can't open it. Okay, sorry. So they are, uh, they look like, like, they're very good actually. Like a crunchy, like crunchy sweet corn. Mmm, mmm, 8 out of 10 for them. Very good. Then you have this orange bar called Diva or Deva. What is it with these? They can't open. Hold on. You don't have to make it hard to get into these. Anyway. Actually, that's not too bad. It's like a Jaffa cake bar. But it's too much orange. That's about 4 out of 10 for that one. Right, next one. Oh, sweet Jesus. This is some sort of toffee lolly. And nobody wants to watch me chew this, but. Oh no, sorry. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's like a fudgy. That is a 9 out of 10. It's still on my lip. 9 out of 10. Mm. Right, the next one is a rumba. Dark chocolate with rum inside. Sounds delightful. Oh yeah. Let's give it a go. Mm. Do you know what? That's not that bad. I think it'd get me drunk, it's that strong. Very strong. About a 5 out of 10 for that. Slovakia, you've not done bad. These are delightful. 6 out of 10 for Slovakia. Next month's box won't be here for a while, but who wants to see it? 